Hello, I'm Sarah with the Kakashi Parish Public Library. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Google Earth. Google Earth is a free computer program that anyone can use via a browser or an app to view cities and landscapes up close from around the world. It also has a list of virtual tours that are mostly used for educational purposes. However, you can also create your own virtual tour. Maybe you want to create a scrapbook of a trip that you recently took or plan a future vacation. I'm creating a book tour that allows the reader to visualize the places that were talked about in the book. To start, click plus new to create a new project or open an existing one. I've already made a virtual tour that shows the places listed in the Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief book. In the book, the class goes to the Metropolitan Museum of Art. With Google Earth, you can see where the Met is located and actually go inside to see some of the exhibits. When creating a new project, it's best to edit the untitled to something of your choosing. I'm calling my new project The Summer Seekers as the spots we'll be visiting are based on the places in the book The Summer Seekers by Sarah Morgan. Create a description to give viewers an idea about what the tour is about. In the book, our characters travel along historic Route 66. They start their adventure by dining in Chicago in a restaurant that has an amazing view of the city and Lake Michigan. Go to the search bar on the top left to look for places that you want to add. I found an amazing restaurant in Chicago that is similar to the one mentioned in the book. Click the button at the bottom with the person on it. You can either click on the street to view the location or click on the blue dots to view the inside. I think this view is an amazing way to start off a road trip. When you have settled on a location, click the Save to Project button. If you wish, you can update the information by adding your own description, photos, or video to the location. Google Earth also allows you to customize the marker for your map. There is a huge list of markers to choose from, and you can even pick the color. Our character's next stop on Route 66 was a historic gas station. Oftentimes, when you enter street view of a location, little arrows pop up at the bottom. When you click on them, you can travel around the location. Google Earth has listed information, a Wikipedia link, address, and phone number for this historic site. Depending on the spot and its importance, Google Earth may have little to no information or a lot. For instance, our next place, Old Chain of Rock Bridge, has a lot of historic importance. Google Earth has provided the river name, the date the bridge was constructed and opened, the length of the bridge, a brief summary, and a Wikipedia link. For the, our next restaurant in our road trip, our characters made a big deal out of eating catfish with crispy tater tots and an onion burger. I found a little diner called Jay's Country Chicken along Route 66 that had all of these menu items. Since Google Earth did not display the menu, I created my own menu to display. To add your own images, whether it's pictures you found or pictures that you took while there, save the project and click update. Click the plus media button to the right and it will give you the option to upload image file or add from URL. Google Earth allows you to create folders if there are a few places that you would like to bunch together. I would not recommend using a folder if you plan on presenting your tour in a slideshow as folders will prevent Google Earth from showing the place. Folders can have titles, descriptions, and media that will show up in the slideshow if you add it, but it will not show the location on the map. Our characters decided to do a little sightseeing in Amarillo, Texas, so I decided to create an Amarillo folder and fill it with historic places from Amarillo. As long as you have the folder open, the arrow will point down. The places will save to the folder. If you save the location while the folder is closed, the arrow will point to the side. It will save under the folder. If it does that, you can drag and drop the markers on the menu to the folder to move them. If you want to know of a good website to find historic sites and natural landmarks to save to your map, I would recommend the A to Z The USA. You can find it at capturelibrary.org, resources under the service tab. You can look it up alphabetically or under the travel category. This website gives you a whole slew of information about each state, including the best food, cities, landmarks, and national parks. 
They have the national park that was mentioned in the book, Petrified Forest National Park. You can use the information and pictures listed to add to your tour. Our character decided to hike the Blue Mesa Trail in the park, so I decided to save it to my project. I ended up moving my marker by grabbing and dragging it to the center of the trail, but you can also type in a different latitude and longitude to move the marker. I found so many cool pictures of petrified wood that I decided to add multiple images. Seeing all the places that the characters went to up close makes me want to pack my bags. In the book, there is a description of a hotel and restaurant that matched with La Posada Hotel and the Turquoise Room restaurant in the hotel. Google Earth provided each location with a link to the website, phone number, and 20 pictures of what the hotel rooms and the restaurant looked like. I wanted to save Google Earth details to the project and add my own description of the place from the book. Unfortunately, when you update and add your own description, it will clear the info provided by Google. To have both, I created a folder with the description that I wanted to add to the two places and save both locations with the info Google provided to the folder. Next stop was the Grand Canyon. I decided to add my own photo that I took from my visit to the Grand Canyon and the snow. I did the same thing with Las Vegas, but added a video that I took of the Fountain of Bellagio. To add a video, you must provide a URL of a YouTube video. For the marker, I decided to upload a custom image of a photo I took in Las Vegas. The end of the book had our characters at the end of Route 66 at the Santa Monica Pier. If at any point the globe isn't angled in the way that you want it, you can click the button at the bottom with a compass needle to change the tilt and heading of the globe. Now that I'm finished, I am going to view my tour using the slideshow button on the top right. It will fly to each location that I saved with the click of a button except for anything that was in a folder. When you're done creating your virtual tour, click the share button in the top right. It will give you a link that you can share with others to view or edit your virtual tour. I made my link into a QR code, which you can do with any QR code generator, and created a bookmark that I can scan to see my tour at any time. Thank y'all for watching, and I hope you enjoy creating your own Google Earth virtual tour.